Hey friendo, Steve here, welcome back to Wrestle Juice. So, a couple videos ago I offered up my theory that I felt Cody Rhodes has a good chance at losing at this upcoming WrestleMania. I don't want it to happen, I don't wanna see that, but I think that it's a possibility from both a business standpoint and a storyline standpoint. Uh, just the other day, of course, The Rock joined the Bloodline officially, wearing a $5,000 Versace vest, and of course, dropping his first heel rock promo in what seems like, what, two decades, a decade, something like that. And a lot of you saw in that promo potential Easter eggs to suggest that maybe, just maybe, The Rock is going to turn on Roman Reigns, screw the bloodline over, and allow Cody Rhodes to finally finish his story. So I thought it'd be fun on this video today to do the opposite of what I did two videos ago and offer up my theory as to why Cody Rhodes could win at WrestleMania. Now, none of these are business reasons because I still feel like from a business standpoint, if it ain't broke, maybe you don't fix it. And I still think that WWE is probably interested in Roman beating Hulk Hogan's reign record thing. And so I still kind of feel like there's some good reasons, but for the sake of argument, I'll go ahead and offer up the other side of that particular Cody coin and give you five reasons, or at least five storyline scenarios where they, that could play out at WrestleMania, uh, where that would see Cody Rhodes win the WWE championship. And finally, finish that goddamn story of his. So let's go ahead and start off with number one. This is what a lot of you've been talking about. And uh, it's this, it's basically Cody's Avengers are being assembled. So obviously in the past, everybody's had problems with the bloodline. It's always bloodline interference. Now we thought the last year with Cody Rhodes basically employing, you know, the likes of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to help him out against the bloodline. Maybe, maybe that's going to be the difference maker. Uh, it, but it wasn't because Solo Sokoa, who I think had been like kicked out of the match, basically just came back to the match and screwed over Cody Rhodes. Well, if he's got a beefier Cody Avengers, the Cody Avengers, uh, maybe that won't be the case. He already has Seth Rollins seemingly on his side in this situation, either being in his corner night two or helping him in a tag match night one. I don't know, but seemingly Seth Rollins is there to help Cody Rhodes finish his story. If Seth doesn't end up turning on Cody, then he could be invaluable in facing, uh, in helping to Cody face the bloodline. And on top of that, if you bring Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Jey Uso into the fold, which I think basically wasn't that their Survivor Series team? I don't know, I forget. But if you bring all those guys into it, then you've got more than enough strength to counter the uh, effects of the bloodline. So that's one distinct thing they could do. Number two scenario, and some of these things can totally overlap as well. I'm just sort of throwing all these out here. Number two, from a storyline perspective, is the thing that everybody's talking about. The Rock has laid some not subtle hints at all in that first promo about uh, Roman Reigns coming out of WrestleMania a loser. Of course, he made it seem like he was talking about Cody Rhodes, but he was pointing at Roman Reigns when he was saying that stuff. So basically, The Rock turns on Roman Reigns and I don't know what the motivation here exactly would be if it's just he's playing Roman Reigns and he's like, hey, you know, uh, you're running our family name into the ground by always insisting on cheating to win. You rely on Jimmy and Solo way too much. You ran Jay out of the bloodline. You're tarnishing our name. I'm a good guy. I want all the adulation in the world because I'm Mr. Entertainment. And so I am going to do all the people love Cody. So Rock is going to love Cody and uh, turn on Roman Reigns and, and help Cody finish his story because then Rock gets cheered too. And Rock remembers that time at the Royal Rumble back in 2015 when he raised Roman Reigns' hand. He was like, why are these people booing me? I don't like that. If they are going to boo me, it's because I'm going to be calling them trailer park trash and talking about the herpes on their mouth. So that's number two. And again, you could get some sort of mishmash of Rock turning on Roman and Cody and the Cody Avengers. I don't know what this is right here. Anyways, number three situation. The bloodline and the Cody Avengers, that all gets out of hand before the actual match. And I'm talking about like on the go home episode of SmackDown, all that stuff goes way out of hand. Everybody's fighting everybody. And in order to sort of make sure we have not an overbooked mess of a match that ends up getting thrown out somehow, Triple H decides to make this either a cage match or 
Hell in a Cell. So basically, they read the writing on the wall and they say, this is going to be mano a mano or mano a mano uh, in a steel cage. No outside interference. Everybody's banned. We're going to have special enforcers out there and we're going to make sure there's no Solo, no Jimmy, no Jay, no uh, all those guys. So nobody's allowed at ringside. And then you get that one on one. And the idea is somebody at Cody's level is capable of beating Roman Reigns one-on-one, and he's able to do that and finish his story right there in a steel cage. Or they could even do like uh, what his dad and superstar Billy Graham did. They did like a Texas death match. At one point, they did like a bull rope match, I think. I don't know what the match was that Dusty got the count out thing or they reversed the decision, the match that Cody always references. But they could turn into that kind of match, but everybody would be banned from ringside, so it would be man versus man. All right, that one I feel like is less likely than the other ones I talked about. The ones I've talked about are probably the more likely situations. Number four, the bloodline uh, and the Avengers all take each other out, leaving the rock to try to help Roman Reigns. Who comes to help him out? Triple H. That's right. Triple H and the rock who already have this kind of pseudo right. Well, this rivalry going back decades. And, uh, and they had that moment 10 years ago where uh, uh, triple H and the rock were kind of, like facing off and, and 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 telling each other, hey, we should have one more WrestleMania match. Well, Triple H comes out. Now, look, I don't want to see this because Triple H has been open and transparent to the, about, about the fact that he's got a pacemaker and he's got, or at least he's got some sort of really gnarly heart condition that could prove fatal if he gets too up in his feels, I guess, or whatever the situation is. It's an actual real world serious thing. So I don't know how much huffing and puffing he wants to do. I'm not sure what he actually could do against the rock if he goes out there and tries to keep the rock from interfering but i'll be honest with you as a guy who's been a huge fan of the rock and uh triple h's rivalry through over the decades i really like that little video they filmed 10 years ago i really like that backstage segment they did at the press event and uh i would love to see triple h come out there and maybe with a sledgehammer and take it to the rock you don't have you don't have to take a bump rock doesn't even have to take a bump you can just have him brawl a little bit you know, take it easy, kind of an easy old man brawl. And then, and they just take it to the back, allowing Cody Rhodes to get that win over Roman Reigns. I'll be honest with you, out of all the scenarios, that's kind of the one I want to see the most because I think we kind of badass. That being said, I kind of don't want to see it either because Triple H, I don't want him to get hurt. I like Triple H. Anyways, uh, and then let's go with the last situation here. I've got one more. A lot of people have been saying this one. It would definitely blow the roof off the place. And that's if, You've got the Bloodline and the Cody Avengers take each other out. The Rock is out there about to screw Cody Rhodes. And for whatever reason, you hear the glass break. Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out, delivers a big Luthez press to The Rock. And then, yeah, Stone Cold comes out. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe you do one more match with those guys. It would not shock me if the Saudi Arabian government ponied up a cool 50 million. (laughs) Like a shit ton of money to get Rock versus Austin for one of those Saudi shows. I think that's a, that's a possibility. You can't tell me it's not a possibility. It might happen. Maybe not, but it, crazier shit has happened. So yeah, you could bring Stone Cold Steve Austin out there. Look, somebody in the hot takes video from the other day had it right. None of this story so far has really made a lot of sense. Nobody's really making decisions and saying things that make a lot of sense. I thought for sure Rock was going to come out for his promo and be like, hey, as board of directors guy, I am going to countermand Triple H's order that this match be Cody versus uh, Roman in the interest of the shareholders. I'm going to step in and take on that match. And I thought there was going to be a bit of a power struggle between The Rock and Triple H. Instead, Rock just came out, called people fatty, and said that uh, they got herpes on their mouth. So I feel like nobody's really making any sense here, but it's still entertaining as fuck. And that's what I care about. Am I tickled? Am I entertained? Am I having a good time watching it? Sure. Why not? The glass breaks. Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out. I don't even want any reference to him in advance of this. I just want this to be one of them old school attitude era finishes where it's like people are just showing up left and right. It doesn't make any sense. DX is out there. Rock's out there. Stone Cold's out there. Not Vince. But everybody else shows up and it's just a big overbooked affair. And then Cody wins and they lift him on his shoulders like he's Lex Luger. And he got a count out win over Yokozuna. 
Sure, why not? I'll I'll be marking out big time. I'll be popping big time. Big pop from me. Anyways, there's you know, some story reasons. There's some storyline ideas for Cody Rhodes winning at WrestleMania. I don't know. Maybe they're just not going to overthink it too much. It's like, look, the people want Cody right now. Let's give the people Cody right now. And then maybe we can take the title back off him before WrestleMania next year and have Rock versus Roman then for the title. You can have your cake and you can eat it too, which is an expression that makes absolutely zero sense. Because if you have your cake, what good is the cake if you can't eat it? I get the idea of the phrase. It's like you got two things or you got one thing, but it's not good enough just to have the thing. You got to eat it too. But what? this might as well be sitting here collecting dust. This does me no good if I can't eat it. Once again, she's not on the couch. I'm sorry, guys, but she's over here. She's right there. She doesn't like the couch anymore. Lacey used to make fun of her, say, you live there, you spend your entire life there. Well, not anymore. Now she just, she likes the, the, like, look, the mix of the hardwood. This isn't hardwood, it's laminate. The laminate and the rug really ties the whole room together. 